Dusty Cleese is the indispensable unsung hero of the Battle of Midway. Even in a big war that involves millions of combatants, one person's life can make all the difference. Dusty started wearing a sailor outfit when he was six. By age 18, he was in the Naval Academy. As a teenager, I was seeking a place in society. I wanted to serve in the armed forces, and it took bravery to be a pilot, I thought. By 1941, he's training in Pensacola, Florida. Ground zero for the next generation of naval aviators. I liked aviation fine, and apparently it liked me. I logged 149 hours in the air without a single crash or problematic incident. For now, Dusty trains in biplanes, but they won't be around much longer. In January of 1942, the USS Enterprise departs Hawaii for its first deployment deep into the Pacific. The war is only a month old, but they're steaming into it with the machines they have, including 82 aircraft and 750 tons of munitions. They knew they were on the cutting edge of technology that had yet to be tested. More than 2,000 sailors head into the uncertainty of war, including two old friends from the Naval Academy. Dusty Cleese is on board the Enterprise with his best friend, Tom Eversoll. We did everything together. Two closer chums could not be found. We both graduated from the Naval Academy and flight training together. They're lucky to be assigned to the same carrier. I wanted an opportunity to fight back against the Japanese. We felt outnumbered, cornered by a gargantuan foe. But I was eager. It was the time to fight, and I felt ready for it. 